at Alto Lake, Fishing for trout was fair to good when using orange power bait and spinners. At Bill Evans Lake, fishing for bass was fair to good when using spinner baits. At Kabbalah Lake, fishing for catfish was good when using cut bait. At Carlsbad Municipal Lake, fishing for bass was fair to good when using live minnows. At Chaparral Park Lake, fishing for bass was fair to good when using Texas rigged green colored bandito plastic bugs. At Eagle Nest Lake, Fishing for trout was good when using natural scent power bait and garlic power bait. Fishing for pike was slow to fare when using streamer flies. At Eagle Rock Lake, fishing for trout using spinners, power bait, and flies was slow. At Elephant Butte Lake, fishing for bass was good when using green tubes. Fishing for white bass was very good when using flicker shad lures, chrome castmaster lures, green tubes, Umbrella shad rigs and chartreuse curly tail grubs. Fishing for crappie was fair when using live minnows. Fishing for catfish was fair to good when using live minnows, cut shad bait, and cut carp bait. At Grindstone Reservoir, fishing for trout was good when using Berkeley flicker shad lures, various types of power bait, and worms. At Pecos River, fishing for trout was good when using spinners. Alto Lake, Eagle Rock Lake and the Rio Dosa River were only a few of the lakes and rivers stocked across our state this week. And our catch of the week is, drumroll please, Joe Lopez, the president of the North Valley and Bear Canyon Senior Center Fishing Clubs, caught a 21-inch rainbow trout using corn-colored power bait at Eagle Rock Lake. That's it for this week. I'll be back next week with another fishing and stocking report update. For Crazy Radio, I'm Sarah Morrow.